Hello, Mohicans. Kevin here. On behalf of Danny, Eli, Lee, and myself, I wanted to take a second and thank you for being a loyal listener and for all the support you have given us this year. 2021 was great as we celebrated our 400th show, and we look forward to having you with us on our podcasting journey. We have a lot of great things coming in the future, such as our 10th anniversary in November 2022 and our 500th show sometime late 2023. We hope you and yours had a great holiday season, and we wish you a very happy new year. Jumbo Weekends and new listeners, welcome to Magic Always Magical Amusings podcast, coming to you straight from New Orleans, Louisiana, in the United States of America. On this episode, each of us will name three rides in Epcot over at Walt Disney World that we are okay with skipping. And for the show, we have Danny, Eli, Lee, and mine self, Kevin. So let's get into the discussion, guys. Who wants to start off this one? I'll start. You will start. start. Eli is going to go. So you these are definite opinion here. Uh, yeah. I, three rides in Epcot that you want to what's, what's your first one? What you I, got? I know for I know for attractions. fact. Attractions. I'm sorry. I should say attractions. Uh, yes. I know for a fact uh, this one has to go right up there at the top because I've only written it once in my lifetime. And um, that is Mission Space. That's that's on my list, too. My list as well. Yes. Boom. That's why yeah. I went first. Yeah. Uh, th- that's a bingo. <laughs> yeah. Bingo. Three yes. Cross. We Take win. Two, one. <laughs> Lee's, Lee's got to have it, too, right? I, well, <laughs> I'll get to mine in a second. But, yeah. It, it's, it's on, on your there. list? Yeah. It's on there. And that's regardless of whether it's the green or the orange. All the, sure. all, all oh, the I've colors. Never, all the colors. I've never done oh. the orange. I've only done the green. Yeah. And that was enough to be like, all right, I don't need to do this again. This was. I did it. I can say I did it. Maybe I like the orange if I tried it. I don't know. I mean, but it doesn't I can't spin the orange. Better. I know that the the very vicious one. Green. Green. Thank you. Oh, the green is the bad one? Yes. Oh, never mind. The right? Other way around. Isn't it? <laughs> no, no way. Um, maybe I'm, I have the other I always way feel like I'm green sorry. is like go. It's the green go. I don't know. But well, I, we'll say spin version and non-spin version. I forget. I just remember. I just listen. Okay. This, so it's. Spin, spin version, version yeah. Okay. Spinderella version. All right. Well, look. So I remember I went with a with uh, a group. Dana I went a long time ago with uh, a group of his family members, and uh, one of his family members I remember went on it, and I didn't have a chance to go yet, and that person sold me on not going. He went on the hardcore Spinderella version, and uh, he looked like he had been spun pretty good, and he wasn't putting down no good rap tracks, if you understand oh, what damn. I'm saying. And <laughs> so I was rough. like, ooh, I'm good. Like, that's the equivalent. Like, you know, like, you hang out with some people, and they eat something like, ooh, that didn't taste good. Here, you try it. Like, I'm like, no, I'm good. I'm good. It's like, damn, that smells. Here, smell this. Yeah, smell that. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if people do that, but uh, I, I never went on it. And that, correct me if I'm wrong, man, that's like maybe 10 years ago, something like that, that happened. I don't remember if it was 10 years ago, but yeah, maybe. Uh, it was a long time ago, is my point. Long and time ago. And that impression stuck with me and I, I i never went on it and then when i said hey maybe i'll try to see what it's like i went on the non-spinner version i was like yeah i'm good not missing anything this. you're yeah. good to go yeah okay i felt claustrophobic in the non-spinner version so it's uh, pretty yeah. tight man. Yeah, you know, like, if i don't ever get to ride that thing again i'm, I'm totally okay no I'm absolutely totally okay. all right so we got one uh, off of each of our lists right yes. off the bat so that's great <laughs> this will be a very short uh list at this rate. there's so yeah. much in epcot that really deserves it <laughs> it is it is it is, it is. Well, right now <laughs> yeah can I just make this easy for me? Yeah, sure. This, this list for me is actually should be called what are three attractions you will do? And then everything else, I just don't, I could care less. I'm just going to walk around the world, showcase and eat my ass off. I'm with That's, them. There you go. I, I want to do Soren. I want to do Test Track. I want to do Remy. Everything else I can skip. I can skip Figment. I can skip Living with the Land. Frozen even after care, even Spaceship Earth. Honestly, like I could, I can skip Spaceship Earth. I, I don't know about that one. Yeah, oh, okay. So let me go. The way, hold up. Then, wait. Did Lee go yet? Yeah, Lee just That's went. Me, he, he, I just shot my whole wad. Like, whole wad. yeah, he <laughs> shot all. He's, he's the rest of Epcot. Yeah, if I could do Soren, Test Track, and Remy, okay, I'll skip the rest yeah. of that. I'll second Lee on this one. I can skip Spaceship Earth. Really? Okay. Kind of like, w- kind of like uh, Carousel Progress. Carousel Progress. I okay. Spaceship Earth has just never really resonated with me. Maybe it was because to me. 
it was the most boring of the future world rides. <laughs> Once you, I mean, World of Motion was much funner. Yeah, to me. True. Yeah, it was fun. Uh, I, I enjoyed uh, the dinosaurs in. Um, oh, Universe of Energy. In yeah, Universe of Energy. Great. I enjoyed uh, Horizons. The, the what you call it, the. Uh, I enjoyed Seabase Alpha, Alpha, Alpha with yeah, the, Alpha, with yeah. the uh, aqua. What do you call them? Aqualators. Oh, what do you call them? the hydrolators? Hydrolators. There you go. Oh, thank the you. Hydrolators. The kitchen cabaret was amazing to me as a kid. When I was going back, I wanted to do all this. Epcot. I'm sorry. Not Epcot, uh, Spaceship, Earth? Spaceship Earth was always the. This is serious. <laughs> like there's <laughs> not a lot of levity in this one. There's not a little visual gags. There's just not a lot of fantasy and imagination of a world to be in fact when they get to the world of tomorrow it's just lights <laughs> that's all it is like i just saw rocket ships and people living on the moon <laughs> and you're gonna give me lights to uh, no i just so even as a kid spaceship earth and, and i I'm, i love the fact that it's the last holdover of original epcot but 100 percent with lee on this one it's not a must do for me if i skip it i don't hate it not at all. Don't want to put that impression out there. But if I don't see it, you're yeah. okay. Yeah. Yeah. You know, the scary part is like, as you say that, there's rarely many lines for that. That I'm thinking about. Whenever you walk oh, right in, it, it depends never... on when you go, man. Okay. Because it's like yeah. sometimes, because that's, uh, I'll, I'll be honest, that's, that's uh, I mean, and it's probably more nostalgia for me, but it's it's one of the must do's for me. Like when we last went, it was like, I was a little upset that we couldn't get a chance to do it. But that was only because it was so busy at the time. And it all depends on when you catch it, you know. Sometimes it's super busy. Sometimes you can just walk right on. But I think it's 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 something that stuck with me as a favorite, only because it's oh, you know, when I went with my parents, it's usually the first thing that we rode, and so that might have something to do with the placement of my day of when that ride came in my day, because everything followed after that probably got better. Which you know, of course, to your point, yeah, absolutely, it did. You know, those are more fun. There's a more funny, definitely more education. But uh, that was how, was how I started my Epcot trip that morning was we after the park, we went straight to the ball and we did it. And I learned about communication and then that was it. You know, I also feel like I would enjoy it more if they would clean it up. It's so dark. The audio is not great. It's hard to hear what they're saying. Like there's so much technology now. They don't even have to change it. Just like make the sound better, make brighten up some of the visuals as you're going through. Like let me actually see what's going on in some of the. Well, they can so change. They can change the whole end thing for me. I mean, I don't really need to do the whole put my face on this cartoon and this is you your future. Like, ah. Yeah, so, no, give me some more scenes. Give me something that tells me more about communication. Half the time you don't like show up. Half the time your head was cut stupid. Yeah, <laughs> it yeah. Just, it's, it, it's never a good thing. I don't even stick around that little play area. Oh, I, no. I don't. Yeah, it, it used to be. I mean, it used to be different, but yeah, it did. It's it all good. Yeah, to, I mean. There was a lot that used to be great about Epcot, but I got to admit, uh, uh, to me, Spaceship Earth was never... In fact, to me, it was like, man, the attraction is actually in the park icon. This should be the best attraction. And to me, uh, like I said before, I don't... With the exception of World of... Uh, not World of Wonders. What, what was the... Where was Body Wonder, Wars? Wonder, Wonders of Life. Wonders of Life. That one sucked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Body Wars was, to this day, my all-time worst... Mm -hmm. Body Wars. That was a pukey attraction. Yes, yes. I hated that thing. You but know, if we had to talk about pavilions, that'd be one pavilion I'm okay with skipping. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Back in the day, but you know, we didn't count anything that's already closed. Now, we'll see it when it's the play pavilion. Who knows? Maybe it'll... If it ever comes around. If it knows? ever happens. But uh, yeah, no, I, I have absolutely no problem with it. And I think that's primarily because of that. It's because I'm like, y'all got rid of this, 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 and this, but you kept that? It's not bad. It's not terrible. It's not, but I mean, it just felt like everything else resonated a little bit more to me. Everything else sparked the imagination a little bit more. Yeah, you know, I could totally see that. And I think to your point, a lot of why I like it is just because of our placement of the day in, in the day in which we did it. It's always first. So everything else just, I guess, went up from there, you know, it's for sure. Like I loved Wonder uh, World of Motion. I thought that was like, just a kick in the pants. Wonderful, <laughs> humorous. It was so cool to see that oh, traffic was awesome. jam was yeah. That traffic Beautiful. jam was so full of details. It was amazing. <laughs> Such a big scene. First time I went back in 92 when the Kitchen Cabaret wasn't there, and I was telling my wife, then my girlfriend, I'm like, man, wait till you see this. Wait till you see this. And we walk in there, and it's food rocks. Food rocks. And it's like cardboard cutouts of the characters that were once. I, mean, I was so mad. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> but, totally see that. Hey. Hey. All right. So uh, Mission Space knocked that off my list. What I'm going to uh, contribute to this, and I could say this maybe for all of the the movie attractions that are in Epcot, 
but I think this will be one that I'm totally okay with skipping. Like if the other ones, if I if I had to stand and watch it, uh, I can bear it. But this one is like, you know, I did it. I don't want to do it. And uh, Lee was there for this one. And, and this is In the Land, Awesome Planet. <laughs> I could skip that attraction. I, I went through it. I gave it a shot. Definitely no. I wouldn't Not watch. Awesome, huh? I wouldn't watch Captain Planet, <laughs> let alone Awesome Captain Planet. Planet. <laughs> With these rings combined, this ride still sucks. <laughs> yeah, no, Awesome Planet. <laughs> um, not a fan. Not a fan at all. Okay, yeah, oh, definitely wow. not going to do Awesome. Planet. I can see that. Okay. I can see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there you go. That's it. All right. So we're back. We're back up to uh, Eli. Is it really? Okay. Well, my my next one was uh, Living with the Land. That's kind of chills, like whatever. A lot of times, uh, I think we've. I've passed by it. I've never had the urge to jump back on it. I mean, unless you never had the urge to jump out and grab a cucumber. I was going to say, I've always had the urge to jump out of that boat and I know. grab something. I was going to say eggplant. Oh, well, you know, <laughs> go on. If you, if you need me to cover you, then yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll go there with you. Hey, we went with Sean. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. Like, that was the most exciting time I ever went on that ride was, was when, you know, Sean, Sean was like, Hey, let me just see what's going on. Sir, please scene. don't stand on. The <laughs> exactly. I was like, man, even the person who told us to stop sounded sleepy. I mean, yeah, I, and that's not something that. I, I feel is a must do. Not to really engaged it. I'm just I can walk past it. Yeah, yeah. No, that sounds good. That okay. sounds good. Wow. I, 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 that one I don't agree with, but I can understand this. Uh, like they really haven't done anything to make it any better whatsoever. I do understand that if you've seen it enough times, you've kind of got the gist of it. And it's not really that important. But it's like the only thing that I, I look out for is like, what are they toward the end there? What are they growing now? <laughs> you know, because usually everything else is kind of the same hydroponics, all that kind of stuff. But toward the end, when they're doing stuff, they used to have a NASA thing where they grew things with moon soil and stuff, but it's no longer there. Uh, so that's a little bit different. But um, yeah, I don't know. Something about food I dig. <laughs> and, you know, also in the beginning, when you have those little dioramas, you know, the desert scene and, and all that, I, I, I dig those. I, I like seeing those. A little farmhouse and all that business with a little doggy. I, I, I like seeing those. Things. I mean, they got apps that let you do that stuff. Yeah, I know. I know. I can Farmville see Farmville helped you out really good. I want to feel the heat of the desert. That's okay. the thing. There is a sense of, of environment. Like, I love the alligators. Oh, yeah. The, yeah, that's yeah. cool. The farmhouse. I mean, there is a sense of the environment is cool. So I do like that aspect of it. I always make it a point whenever we pass by the, you know, they, 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 you get, to the seafood area, like yeah. where they have the fish and everything. The fish like that. in the tube and the top. Right. You know, when yeah. you see all the tubes, and I'm always looking to see which tube is empty. Yeah, <laughs> me too. You too? Because I'm like, no, I do the same thing. It's like, oh, I wonder if I could, maybe there's a shrimp in there. Yeah, I'm like, oh, I see a shrimp. They must have the, at the Garden Grill, tilapia must be the special it's because the no more tilapia. <laughs> <laughs> Time to grow more tilapia. <laughs> yeah, no, it's awesome. Yeah. But um, okay, cool, man. Very good, man. What about you, Lee? What's your, what's your, what's your, I guess we're on the final one now. I think I, Lee I pretty, pretty much, much said, said it all. But- oh, yeah, you <laughs> said everything. <laughs> And I again, I concur with every word he said. Well, he already did it. He already, he already blew his Yeah, blood. I mean, you can just throw Frozen Ever After out there. I mean, I never got a chance <laughs> to do Maelstrom, so that was my I last one. To, I have nothing to compare it to, but I finally get to ride it, Frozen Ever After, and I'm like, oh, all right, well, that was nice. That's um, telling, though. I'm not, I'm not waiting 30, 45 minutes ever for this. Right, that's telling, though, right, for you, since you've never ridden uh, Maelstrom, the original, but you're still willing to see, okay, I'm good with it. And uh, that was the last one on my list. I'll, I'll just go ahead, and I don't mean to jump you, Danny, but oh, yeah, yeah, go for that's it. the last one on my list because it was Frozen Ever After. It's like, you know, I would never do that. I, yeah. I'm sorry. I, I was going to say, when Lee threw out the other names, he said, like, Test Track, he would do. I was going to say I could... I can skip Test Track only because of Radiator Springs in Disneyland is just so much smoother than that. Sure. Yeah. Well, yeah, definitely. Yeah. I the problem is, though, it. we've already skipped all this stuff, so you have to do this stuff because that's all that's left. That's all that's left. Yeah. Right. Yeah. There's a lot of food and drink to eat. I agree with what Eli just said there. Yeah, he's right because, I mean, really, the only reason you ride Test Track now is not for the actual ride experience itself. It's just for that one moment where you go fast outside. Yeah. Yeah. And, exactly. yeah. I was going to further clarify is like if it was te- the original Test Track, Probably mo- must do for me, but since it's Chess Track 2.0, yeah, I'm totally cool with skipping it. Unless I want to go in there and try to make the jankiest car ever, which is what we did <laughs> <laughs> last time we went. It was beautiful, but even yeah. still, that it's not worth it for me. Even though I wanted to make the most jankiest car ever in Test Track 2.0 lore, uh, it's not enough for me to go in there and do it. <laughs> yeah, like what is your souvenir for making the jankiest car ever? Though you know, it's like it's not like you get like a reproduction of your janky car. That would be cool if they had like a three D printer that would print it up and do that. Oh That'd be yeah, cool. I t- we talked about that. Or when a we model, three D model. Yeah. I think oh, I don't yeah. know where it is, but yeah. I have to find it. But I got a driver's we license get, for that yeah. car on there. I don't know where it went. 
but it's somewhere in we my got stuff. like a little like collector's card or something. Yeah, a little cl- collector's card, driver's license thing. On it. I meant to bring it, but I don't have it, man. But yeah, so that's it. I, I've exhausted my list. So, Danny, you're the last one. Do you have I any am. other ones? That, uh... Yes, I do. Because, I mean, Special Birth was really kind of an honorable mention for me because I do I do, do it. But I, I was kind of concurring with Lee, and, and I do consider that something that I could skip. I mean, technically, there, like Lee said, there's a lot of this stuff that you can skip. So I'll do this. I'll, I'll, I'll count Spaceship Earth as one of them because I went long on that. But I will, I will say to what you said before, you talked about Awesome Planet. How about any Epcot movie whatsoever? That's fair. I, yeah. I'll just, I'll scorch the earth. Any one of them. Oh, Canada with Martin Short. No, oh, I'm good. Boy, China, one. France, China, any of them. Go with skipping them all. Yeah. And, and to be fair, even though I singled out Awesome Planet, and I didn't mention the other ones. Uh, to be fair, I would probably do the same. I say the same thing. Yeah. And I haven't been in one of those in years. And every time I go, I'm always like, I should really go sit in one of those. I wonder what it's like now. I I, I haven't. I missed completely Martin Short. I don't. I don't even see the original Martin Short one. I know they revamped it, but I I completely missed that one. So I don't even know what that was like. But whatever. Yeah, even the Disney and Pixar short film stuff. I saw it one time, and I'm like, eh, all right, I own all this stuff. <laughs> I'm not, <laughs> not seeing anything new there. I'll give you one. I'll give you one that also could be thrown into this mix as well. I'd be curious to see what the thoughts are on this one. American Adventure. You know, I was just thinking about that. You know, when you're talking about theaters, I'm like, what, what about American Adventure? I always want to do it, but I never prioritize doing it. I'd love to see it. And I think it's only because of the mystique of the whole the war wagon thing. You know, it's I think it's a nostalgia thing, kind of like Carousel. But I haven't seen it in a long time. Now, you know what? One thing in American Venture I would see, and that is the Voices of Liberty. You know, one of the premier vocal groups on property. And so that's something I wouldn't miss, but I wouldn't venture upstairs to go see the show. I would just go in there, see them perform, and then I'm done. I can move on to the next thing. I remember seeing it as a kid. And then I remember every time I went back, I never felt the need to do it again. And I think when I went back one time, it was just the two of us. We went to go see it again. And I'm like, okay, because this was like right after 9-11 or something like that. Not right after, but after that. And they had revamped a couple things. I just, You know, it felt like you were, you know what it feels like? You know, like when you watch the Hall of Presidents in the first half of the Hall of Presidents or maybe more is a video presentation. And then the last half is the actual animatronics. It felt like, what would we do if we took the first half of the Hall of Presidents and make that into some sort of a animatronic show? <laughs> and that's kind of what it felt like. Like, it was just, I don't know. It's just not uplifting to me <laughs> in the way say. that it should be. It's cool. The animatronics are cool. The technology behind it is cool. But there's a magic that's missing. There's a a spark that's just missing from that show that I, I, I mean, even hardcore fans, I just don't hear like, you know what I really love is that American adventure show. <laughs> you know, I tell you what, out of that show, I like the song. I don't know why. Every time I, I just get a little, yeah, you know, the America spread your golden wings kind of thing and not the, not the stripper, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> that I'm about to say that's the best song to come out to. Is absolutely. But that's, a, that's about it. I, I think it's more nostalgia for me because I remember that was, that was it. And, and you know, yeah, I, I could see that though. I could totally see that though. So yeah, that, that that's kind of an honorable mention. That I could I could take Spaceship Earth and I could take American Adventure and offend a bunch of different people by flip flopping them. That could be a third easily. Mission Space is really the stand. I mean, my God, it when, is a standout. Yeah, yeah. when Stacy can't even say, there's no memorable Stacy line about Mission Space. No. Is there? You're gonna spin. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna hurl. You're gonna hurl. <laughs> Two little spinners over here. <laughs> oh. I don't think she's ever said that. Oh, no. Pretzels would be on the ground. <laughs> spinning or non-spinning on the ground. <laughs> Out your mouth. Out your mouth. On the floor. Yes. Because you're puked. Because that's right. That's right. Because you went to space and got sick. That's right. Yeah. Moon rocks are somewhere else and living with the land. And people get offended when I say things like, well, you know, you could probably skip Epcot, you know, like on a Walt Disney World trip. Like people don't think that's good advice or they get offended by that like oh you can't skip epcot it's like you kind of can and nowadays you right can, now you can yeah. nowadays you can you especially can. right now i would agree with that epcot is what studio it's a half day park i mean you got remy's remy's hit there now so that's good the new guardians of the galaxy coming online so that's that's gonna help but, but there's so much construction and stuff you know yeah that was know. terrible when we went that last time like go this way this is diverted that way yeah it, it's it's a mess right now and so it's like if you want to deal with that great but if you if there's one park you had to skip that would be it 
You know, is that is that safe for all of us to agree? That's that's yeah. fair. Right now, currently, right now, yes, yes currently. That you have, yes. Yeah. I mean, let me put it like this: it, it's it's kind of like half my day would be spent in the, the the first half of my day would be spent in Hollywood Studios, and the second half of my day would be spent in Epcot. I can see that. The, the yeah. end. The end. I'd close up my day, and the pavilions in Epcot. I'd start off with Rise of the Resistance and um, Mickey Minnie's Runaway Railway. And maybe Slinky Dog Dash, I suppose, in, in Hollywood Studios. But I mean, there's not that much. Even they've, even though they've improved it, I could, I could, I still see Hollywood Studios as a half a day park. Well, guys, look, this brings us to the end of our discussion. As you may know, with Magic Army Podcast, your opinions are always welcome on this show. So make sure you get in touch with us today. Shoot us an email at show at magicoa.com or call or send us a text message at eight one five Moican. That's 815 Mo Weekend. 669 4226. It's not the same without the music. Yeah, it's not the same without the music. But anyway, if you want to support us, man, make sure you support ivorycomics.com. Go over that website, buy his stuff. Book a vacation with Lee. Shoot him an email at lee at magicarway.com. Support the whole show via Patreon. Go to patreon.com forward slash magicarway and pick one of those tiers. And if you want to see all of our stuff, go to magicarway.com. So, guys, look, thanks for listening. Magic out. Hey, this is Kevin from the Magic Army Podcast. When Calgon can't take me away, Mad Hatter Radio will. <laughs>